Whoosh. What are we looking at? Just before I was behind my shed, looking around my shed for a shovel, uh, cause I have to dig up some of my plants for winter. And I discovered these two hanging baskets under my, uh, on the side of my shed. And I was like, Ooh, I got a really good idea. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. The other day, my friend had sent me this lovely picture of these, uh, oversized Christmas ornament bowls that she purchased from, I believe it was Sam's Club a few years back. And so, um, I was like, wow, those are awesome. You know, where'd you get them? And they didn't have them in stock anymore, needless to say. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, hmm, those look like something I can make myself. So, um, when I saw these two baskets, I thought to myself, wow, this is really cool. And I could probably mimic the same thing um, by using them. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I have some Christmas balls right here. Um, because if you look in the picture, they're they're on the side. So I'm going to take some of these. I'm going to put them in uh, there. I might get like another uh, size up. And then uh, this, when you put it like this, kind of looks like a ball, right? And uh, I, I'm probably gonna spray paint it. I'm thinking maybe gold, uh, you know, to make it kind of stand out. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a top. And I'm gonna show you guys how I I did uh, a Christmas bowl a few years ago. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did the top. So let's go take a look at that. This is what I did. Um, I found this. This is actually just like a plastic uh, Tupperware bowl. It looks a little beat up now. Again, it was out doors so it got you know it's got its ass kicked uh next time i think i'm going to use um spray paint that's specifically designed for plastic but either way you know it did its job it got a little beat up and i just went to home depot and i purchased one of these um you know hook things that they sell in the hardware section and so i did that and then i had uh, a giant piece of wire again that i bought from home depot and that was how i kind of left a little hook on there to make it look a little bit more christmas ornament like so um i think i'm gonna basically use the same idea okay so i got all the supplies that i pretty much needed to finish this project we got the uh baskets I got the other smaller balls to put in there, but I realized that these really small ones will fall through. Um, so I don't know. I might have to grab some, some bigger balls. Uh, then I also went to Dollar Tree and I found these uh, Tupperware containers. These are perfect because they don't taper too much. So those will go up there, spray painted. Well, not all of them, just, just one. And then I got the little hook thing. So after we spray paint, we're going to drill a little hole right through there and then we'll, you know, we'll connect that. And then, um, I bought these lights. Now they have similar lights to this at, um, Home Depot. The problem is they were $30 for the whole roll. And I just thought that was a little exorbitant for the price. So these are actually, um, solar powered. So, which I'm not, I hate the battery operated ones because, you know, you, you have to really keep tabs on those and constantly change the battery. So I figured this one will be good um, because yes, it takes batteries, but it's also solar powered. So it will uh, stay lit for longer. So I'm going to, you know, kind of run those along the lines there. And uh, that's going to be our little Christmas ball. That's what we're going to do. And I'll show you guys along the way. Okay, so I got a couple of projects going on over here. Um, I showed you guys these. So um, what I did was I removed the chains from them and I'm gonna spray paint these white. At first I thought maybe I would do a, a silver or something, but then I, I really decided to just go with the white. I thought that would just kind of provide a really nice contrast between um, you know, this and the bowls that I'm gonna put inside. So what I did with, to clean these up and prep these for uh, painting was I basically took um, some Windex, just kind of sprayed them down just to get some of the dirt off. Then I used a wire brush to uh, clean some of the rust. There was some rust at the welding areas. So I used that to kind of clean that up as best I could. You can still see a little bit um, right there, but I just wanted to get it as best as I could, you know? Um, and so then I just kind of went over it, you know, with the wire brush and then uh, 220 grit sandpaper. So um, we're gonna get ready to spray paint these on the top. And then one more thing. So 
Also, to make these look like an ornament, uh, what I'm going to do is somehow affix this to the top and spray paint that. Um, just one tip for you guys. Make sure when you spray paint, uh, this is very important and it's a step that I feel like probably a lot of people skip, uh, but that's to sand things. I've always personally skipped it and I've found that the paint doesn't uh, stick as well. And I guess from, you know, doing nails, <laughs> I learned how important sanding really is to create some type of grit for the paint to adhere itself to. So um, I just took a, a 500 grit sandpaper and, you know, just sanded this down. I, I actually used the nail file as well just to get in those little grooves right there. You know, you just want to scratch it up as best you can. I think we're... Another step I didn't mention here was that you should probably also dust it off before you start spray painting. I used a little Swiffer cloth and just kind of got all the little dust particles off before I started painting it. So I'm going to spray paint these, on, give them a first coat. When that dries, I'm going to flip them over. Um, this is going to be gold. These are going to be white. All right, so I got one coat down uh, on this basket, and I'm working on this basket. And I just want to give you guys a little... <laughs> pointer here this this uh type of sprayer here is uh absolutely horrible you might think that it's better um but it's not it's it's absolutely terrible and i'll show you guys why that is watch the the spray you see how it comes out very uneven you see those big it just it it doesn't come out in a fine mist uh like the regular cans do so something to be wary of uh this stuff right here i'm not a big fan of this cap so i realized it wasn't spraying well because the tip was a little bit clogged so i cleaned it out with a pin and i started to spray it and it sprayed a little bit better and more evenly and then all of a sudden it clogged up so i cleaned it out with the pin again and then it started to spray a little bit better uh my can of spray paint was a little old so it could have been because of that um so I i'm not really sure but the other thing to keep in mind is that the spray kind of comes out vertically instead of uh horizontally so it's kind of wider um I don't know it's a little strange the tip it's not terrible but it does clog up and it did give me a little bit of trouble so just keep that in mind you know maybe go with the old-fashioned regular tip let me finish doing this and uh we'll show you guys when we're done so I also spray painted this uh one coat and I'm just gonna give it another coat because I don't want to be able to see the scratches plus it's still a little bit translucent so um, I'm going to give this a second coat. Okay, so I decided to spray paint these white. Now, let me show you guys what the next step's going to be. So I lined these up the best I can. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to zip tie, you know, them together uh, with a clear zip tie. This part got a little messed up, but that doesn't matter because guess what? We're going to cover it up with that. So this is just a cup that I got from... Uh, I don't know, a store. It's pretty cheap, to be honest with you, but it, it'll, it'll do its job looking like the little cap there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to very carefully drill some holes so we could put this uh, little piece up here on here. Right, and then so I'm about to drill the hole here, and I'm going to show you ladies who use, um, i to remove this tag, huh? Who uh, don't know how to use drills very good. I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. So to get the bit out, an easy way to do it is to reverse it hold this part of the drill and there you go okay um it's going to open up the chuck and so you can do the same thing to put the bit back in sorry about that light right there so now i'm going to put it the opposite direction that it's going and oh, i locked it and we're just going to go like that until it's ready to go okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm taking a little piece of wood just to have something to uh sturdy it and you know kind of drill into and i'm drilling it from the inside but i should probably mark a hole where the holes are gonna go that would help so i'll show you guys a little trick for that too okay so i got a paint marker here and what i'm gonna do this is a little trick from the sign shop that i used to work at um i'm gonna take this paint marker and i'm just gonna draw on the little edges right here hold on let me get a little bit more paint out of this thing there we go. Okay, make sure you have plenty on the edge there so that it uh, makes the marking. You wanna make sure it's fully, 
fully saturated. Okay, let's try that again. So I'm just gonna go in here, go where I want it to um, drill through. And we used to make templates like this. And there you go. You guys see, I got my two little dots. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry for a second. Um, get the rest of the paint off there. But that's an easy way to make yourself a template uh, for where you want to drill your holes. So let that dry for a second. And then we're going to, we're going to put it on this piece of wood so that it kind of has some, uh, I don't, I don't really know what to call it, but just so that it doesn't drill into anything that, uh, I don't want it to drill into. So just use a piece of scrap wood that you're not using. Let me just make sure this drill bit's kind of big, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go on my little dot that I marked off and there we go that's all we need sweet and fast go on this other side here now my paint didn't exactly dry because i'm rushing but there we go so you want to drill from the bottom just so if you drill from the top um it's gonna crack it you know so you definitely want to drill from the inside and just use a little thing to study it so we got our two little holes we're gonna take our little piece right here that we got from Home Depot in the hardware section. I'm not really sure what these are for, but they look good. Um, I've seen people use wire and other things. I think personally, this just looks the most um, realistic to me. Okay, so you're gonna wanna put this piece on first, okay? And then we're gonna feed it through the holes that we just cut. Just make sure mine's very thin and I don't want to crack the paint, so I'm trying to just do this as carefully as I possibly can. All right, so that is great. That's perfect. So you have this thing on top, and what this is going to do is it's going to hold it in, in place. And as you guys will see, that thing didn't really hold it in place too well, so you guys will see what I do to fix that in a minute. So... We're going to screw these bad boys on. And we're going to speed this up because nobody needs to watch me screwing on these little nuts in real time because it's really super boring and not fun. All right, so there you go. We got our little topper there and we're going to pop it on the top. So I grabbed some extra, you know, Christmas ornaments that I had lying around the house. Um, I wanted to line these up so that the holes lined up with one another so I could zip tie through there. But when I do that, um, when I try to line it up by the holes, you see it doesn't really fit that great. It's a little off. So um, the holes aren't exact. So instead of worrying about that, I'm just gonna line it up the best I can, you know, and then I'm going to zip tie right around this part. So let me go grab those. Okay, so I basically just took the zip ties. I think I applied about four of them and I sped this up again because, you know, nobody wants to sit there watching me put four zip ties on, but that is basically what I did. I just kind of looped them in from the outside. Uh, these are pretty heavy duty ones just to make sure that, you know, nothing breaks. Uh, and that's it. Little clippers. These are the best things I've ever purchased. Um, they're great for trimming zip ties, wire, anything you can think of. You'll see these guys in a lot of my videos, my DIY videos. I use them quite often. And there you go. We clipped those off and now we got our little ball. And let me just clip this string off here. Okay. And I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks a lot like the um, decoration that they were selling at Sam's Club. So you could leave, oh, I forgot them right here. How do you like that? So you can leave it like this if you just want to maybe put it, you know, inside or um, something like that. You could leave it and just have it like this, which looks pretty cool just in and of itself. Of course, you have to glue this piece on, but I'm going to try putting some lights on it. Okay, so before I get into showing you guys how I put the lights on, I just want to explain something. I kind of went through a little debacle here and was considering, do I really want these lights on here because they're green and you're going to see the green wire? So I tried some tape lights and to figure out how much light I need, what I did was I wrapped the light around one time and then I made a little mark and I measured that. And then I multiplied that length by 11 because I had to wrap it around 11 times because there was 
was 11 bars on each uh, piece there. And I realized that I needed about 34 feet. So I was going to use these white tape lights that I had, but they were only 16 feet and I would have needed another set. And I really wanted it to be done in one continuous piece. So I went with the green lights. And in the end, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So I'm going to show you guys how I ended up wrapping the lights around. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am a... I'm going to wrap the lights around. Um, I measured it out. I have enough lights for these. I don't have them for the tape lights, although I would love to use the tape lights maybe next year, which is why I'm not going to glue these down. I'm just going to put them on with zip ties, and then, you know, maybe next year um, I can order some tape lights. And so that's basically what I did. As you guys can see here, I'm zip tying the lights. And uh, every... So I, I pretty much put three zip ties on every bar um <clears throat> it's kind of hard to explain here but you guys can see i'm putting them every couple of inches so i would put one at the top one in the middle one at the bottom uh for each side of the basket and so i just kept doing that until i made it all the way around the entire ball uh and just made sure that the zip ties were really tight okay so i got most of the lights on i don't know why this flash is on here but um as you guys can see this one piece is missing and that's because I have so much extra light I turned it I'm going to wrap it around once maybe twice and then I'm going to continue this piece and uh then after that we're going to have to trim off all <laughs> these that should be fun all right so I ended up with quite a bit of extra wire here now I tried wrapping it around the middle um and I just didn't like the way it looked it looked like it was wrapped too many times so what I did was I wrapped it around here and then I'm going to wrap this 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 is the obviously the thing for the solar power so um <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up in electrical tape so you can't see it and then uh just wrap these two little pieces here that stick out wrap a little piece of electric tape around it so you can't see it uh black electrical tape um <clears throat> and then I got to trim off all these little uh zip tie things okay and since I don't know any other way to hold these in place I'm gonna put two little dots of uh, hot glue just there just to hold these right there so I, I really don't know what that other piece is for but um, I'm gonna just put some hot glue down there hopefully it doesn't melt this thing because it's kind of thin plastic all right I'm also going to uh, drill two holes in the rim over here so I can hold it on by a zip tie and glue because um, I just don't trust the glue so I'm kind of gonna mark where two of these things would fall and I'm going to drill a hole there and there um, so that I could hold this thing on because I just don't trust uh, the glue to hold it. Okay, so I made two little marks right there on each side. I measured it out and same thing as I did before. I'm going to take the little piece of wood and I'm going to use that and uh, I'm going to drill my holes over there. Okay, so as you guys can see, I drilled the holes. So I kind of had to just make them a little wider than, uh, so I, in, in this little area, I drilled like more than one just to make sure that it fits through. All right. So I fed the zip ties through like this, and then I'm just going to apply, apply a little bit of glue around the rim here just to, uh, you know, give it a little extra hold <clears throat> and then I'm going to zip tie it. So give me one moment. Okay, and so I just secured the one zip tie and I'm gonna secure the other one. It was a little tricky to get in there, but as I suspected, the hot glue is not even doing anything. Um, I don't fully trust hot glue, which is why I put these here, but um, yay, I'm so excited. Okay, so uh, I guess I lost some footage here. So I just basically zip tied that little top through the bar there and made sure that was secure. And as you can see, I trimmed off all those little zip tie ends. That was fun. And it was really fun to clean them up off the floor after I did that. And then here's the big reveal. Music